Hey everybody, it's Dan from Mon1 here, here with another sneak peek to show you what's coming in Photo Raw 2024. In this episode, I want to talk to you about cataloging and catalog folders. Cataloging is one of the most powerful things you can do in Photo Raw. A catalog is like a folder that we keep an eye on. We automatically scan it, we pick up new photos that you add, photos you remove get pruned, if you change a photo or you change its location, all of that gets kept up to date for you. Unlike Lightroom, where if you move things on disk outside of its knowledge, things get broken and you have to resync everything, we just do that for you automatically. It also lets you do some advanced searching things and publishing things that you can't do unless it's in a catalog folder. So let me show you how to create one and some of the cool new options that we've given you in this version. So here I am in Browse. I'm on my regular Browse tab and I've got this folder structure that I want to make a catalog folder of. It's this demo photos folder. I'm just going to right click on it and I'll select make catalog folder. You'll notice a new catalog properties dialog appears. This is where we can configure how this catalog folder works. The first option lets us control how big of a preview it's going to generate. One of the things that catalog folders do is it's going to create a preview that it stores on disk and what we call a cache, which makes it a lot faster to view your photos in the future. It doesn't have to go reprocess the photo every time you want to look at it. It's already got one ready to go. And you've got some different options. You can use the embedded option, which will extract out the JPEG in raw photos that it's already placed there by the camera. That's going to be the fastest option for you. But there's also options for a medium and a standard, which is a large size preview that it'll store on disk. So in this case, I'm just going to use the embedded option. I can also control how often it's going to scan that folder for changes. I can have it do it just one time on launch. I can have it be completely manual, like Lightroom, where it doesn't scan at all. I have to manually tell it to synchronize it, or I can have it do it every 30 to 60 minutes. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to notice the changes. If I go to a folder, it's going to automatically update that folder when I browse. So you're not going to see out-of-date results ever. There's also an option to control keyword AI. When we catalog your photos, we can also scan them automatically for keyword AI keywords. And we have either an off option, which is the fastest. There's a basic option, which does all of the fast keyword AI options, or you can use whatever you have set in your preferences for it as well. I'm just going to use the basic option here. And I can also publish it to Cloud Sync so that I can access it on all my other devices. I'm going to leave that off here as well. And there's a couple other options I'm going to mention. When I click on the Preferences button down here, there's two more new options. One right here is the Catalog CPU Usage. You can control how much of your CPU is used to do that cataloging in the background. Now, for most users, normal is the best bet. But if you have a very old computer, you might want to pick the lower option instead. That'll let you have more of your CPU for doing other tasks. There's also an option for the preview size. This is how big the fit screen preview is for your window. There's a small option, which looks great at a fit screen size. And then there's also the legacy, larger, high quality version. It takes up quite a bit more space on disk. And on most photos, you're not going to be, be able to tell a difference. So I always tend to use the new small option instead. It's faster, uses less hard drive space. All right, when I'm ready, I just hit OK. There we go. You notice it's switched over to my catalogs tab already. There's that catalog folder. And now there's a new catalog progress little widget down here in the bottom left hand corner. Right here, when I click on this, it will tell me what's going on when it comes to my cataloging. At the top, you can see it's scanning for changes. So it's scanning through that whole folder structure, finding all the photos, all the folders, all of their metadata. And then down here under the preview section, you can see it generating those previews. And it's also going to do the keyword AI scanning right here. So anytime I can click on this and see what's happening with cataloging. And I can also turn on Turbo, which will actually let it use more of my CPU if I want to. That's a great thing to do if I'm cataloging a big folder and I'm going to go away for the night. I'll set it to turbo and that way I can catalog all throughout the night and have everything done even if I have a giant, giant folder structure, especially on something like a NAS drive. That's a great option to do. There's a couple other manual options that you might find interesting as well. Now when you right click on a catalog folder, you have a new pause cataloging option. This lets you pause the cataloging process. If for some reason it's using more CPU than you want it to use, you can pause it. And then you can always come back and set it again. You can use the synchronize option to manually start a synchronization process for you as well. Keep in mind, anytime you go into edit or you go into resize, we pause all the cataloging for you automatically. You don't need to manually use that pause option. All right, there you go. You've seen some huge improvements in cataloging. Remember, cataloging makes it faster to find your photos and faster to view them. It also enables lots of cool searching and publishing capabilities. So it's a good idea to catalog your photos. Now, with these new options, you can control how much hard drive space it uses and how much CPU usage it's going to use so you can tailor it to your machine or for your preferences. All right, 
That's just one of the great new features coming to PhotoRAW 2024, including improved performance, the brilliant brilliance AI for automatically adjusting your photos, and a brand new slick, easy to use user interface. There you go. Thanks for watching.